New at five, a single mom furloughed since March 24th says she lost her food stamps because of a big mistake by the unemployment office. The DEO is saying Nicole Finn has been receiving unemployment benefits, but her bank account is in the red. So where is the money? News 6 investigator Mike Holfeld is in studio with more. I'll tell you, this is a unique case. Good evening, everyone. Nicole Finn has been waiting nearly 13 weeks for unemployment benefits. Now, with two young children and no money in the bank, she applied for food stamps and was approved. Now, here's the thing. The money's just sitting there. There's no way she can make ends meet. They have lowered my EBT amount to $16 a month. Nicole Finn and her young children have literally become victims of bad bookkeeping courtesy of the DEO. Whoever they spoke to over the telephone um, at the unemployment office says, you know, yes, um, you know, she filed, she's eligible. News 6 has confirmed this single mom is eligible. Her DEO account shows the funds are available, yet the balance has never changed. I haven't received a dime of the money at all. She was furloughed from her position with Land and Sea Marine Incorporated on March 24th. She survived through the generosity of a free food line at Sherwood Elementary in Melbourne. Sometimes we'll get four or five meals in one day, you know, so that'll be, you know, breakfast, lunch, and dinner for all of us. With no child support, no one to watch the kids, her options to find work are limited. I've been calling, you know, at least 50 times a day, if not more, and I just keep getting that recording, you know, high volumes, try again later. I think a big part of this is just catching up with the backlog of basically people trying to get in and get the money that they're due. Mark Hamrick, Bankrate.com senior financial analyst, says the sheer volume of demand for jobless benefits has left people like Nicole Finn victims of their own need. We're facing something we've never faced in this country or in the state of Florida before. There's a lot of inefficiency attached to the effort to get help, but the individuals affected are really hurting and need the help that they so richly deserve. How frustrating is this for you? It's beyond frustrating. I mean, I, I don't know where to turn. I don't know what to do. Well, we stepped in. A representative in Nicole's district contacted her today, and they're on it. We continue to work with lawmakers to fast-track these cases. We're here. We're working for you. Now, listen, if you'd like to help Nicole and her family or you have an unemployment issue, email me, makeendsmeet at wkmg.com.